Hi Libra, this is going to be your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Jupiter reading from November 7th to November 8th to November the 9th, 2022 Libra. So I hope all is well with you guys. I hope you're staying positive, protected, blessed, and prayed up. Thank you guys all the way up. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Jupiter reading. What are the messages, Spirit, guys? I got any angels or angel ancestors? My God, Angel Holy Spirit, what are the messages for the Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Jupiter reading? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Jupiter reading. What are the messages for the Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Jupiter reading? What are the Libras thinking, feeling, doing, what are they up to, what are they going through? Libras. Sun rising and Venus North Node and Jupiter reading. What are the messages for the Libra? Sun rising, Venus North Node, Jupiter reading. Libras, <clears throat> excuse me, you can be dealing with a Cancer or a Sagittarius. Libra, Sun rising, Venus North Node and Jupiter reading. What are the messages, Spirit guys? What is going on in the Libra's life? What are the Libras thinking of feeling doing? What are they going to? What are they going to? Libras. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, North, Node, and Jupiter, reading. What are the messages, Spirit? Okay. Let's cut the cards. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, and Jupiter, reading. What are the messages? You got a fire sign that's coming towards you to travel, visit you, to see you. Okay, you can... You have a King of Pentacles, a Virgo that's watching you, looking at you. This could be a supervisor, a super, your manager, your boss, or a judge, a caseworker, or a lawyer, who whatsoever. Or this could be you. But someone's holding money in their hand. Um, yeah, so this could be their baby father or somebody like that. Authority figure, someone that's, I don't know. That got some kind of control over you or connection with you or money or something. Someone could be holding back money, information, or wants to help you or give you money or invest in you or do business with you. All right, so I'm, you know, oh, this could be the baby father or whoever could be holding back money. I don't know, something. Someone could be holding information from you or something. The top card we have, whoa, six of wands. Beautiful. Victory and success. Okay. Libra, this could be you or this could be a fire sign that's rooting for you to win. Okay. Or you could be watching a fire sign winning, spinning. So this could be you winning, moving on with your dreams and goals, becoming successful, very popular, very famous. You have followers. You got people that look up to you, follow you. Okay. Whatever you do, you know. You're getting attention. You could be in the public eye, whatever you do. Okay, people like it. They watch you. They follow you. We have the judgment. So you could be waiting on some type of decision from some type of legal situation, justice system. Something could be pending. It could be child support, child custody. It could be inheritance, lawsuit, something. Okay, judgment. Or it could be a lot of people that's judging you. Judging you, saying this and that about you. Okay, or they, you, this could be you judging someone. Or it could be a group of people. Okay. Also, this could be your ancestors, your spirit guys shouting down from heaven. And trying to send you a message, Libra. Okay, this could be your loved ones that passed on rooting for you as well. Telling you, don't give up. Keep going. Don't stop. We got your back. We see you. We love you. We sending you love. We sending you love, peace, and joy, and health, and wealth, good health, and wealth, you know. So this could be a loved one from heaven sending you messages. They see that you're moving on. They see that you're following your dreams and goals, you know, um, and they want, to, they want you to know that, hey, we got love for you. If nobody else doesn't have love for you, we got love for you, okay? Okay. Yep. Wow, we have the Eight of Swords. So, 
I don't know, is that about, this could be you, you feeling stuck and trapped, confused all of a sudden or something? Someone's feeling stuck and trapped. This could be, this is a Gemini card. I don't know, maybe you feeling stuck and trapped, confused. It could be all in your head about a Gemini. You could be thinking about a Gemini, or this could be a Gemini feeling stuck and trapped and hurt by you and confused. Or this could be you. Feeling stuck and trapped, confused, and like it's no way out, like it's nowhere to go. It's like you thinking about something. You got a lot on your mind, a lot on your plate. You having a hard time getting over something. You having a hard time getting over a Gemini. I don't know something about the Eight of Swords. Like I said, this could be you. You know, you could be all in your head about something. About your career, about your life. I don't know, your life purpose. Maybe you feel like you're not on the right track. Maybe you feel, I don't know. It starts off good, then here come the Eight of Swords. So like I said, you could be confused about your life purpose, your life path. I don't know, something's making you... Maybe these people, someone's could be, like I said, judging you, saying things about you, wrongfully accuse you, lying you, lying on making you feel some kind of way, some type of way. So it can be a group of fucking people. This can be your family, frenemies, enemies, people you work with around you. I don't know. Someone's making you doubt yourself, make you feel insecure about your placements, your, you know, your career, your success. Yes, you guys, some people could be jealous of you, envy of you, Libra, and try to make you feel some kind of way, some type of way. They can be jealous and envy of you, and they want you to doubt yourself. They want you make. They want you to feel like you don't know what the fuck you're doing, like you're doing something wrong. They're trying to confuse you. Because <laughs> right here, you got this, uh, the Six of Wands in Judgment, and then here come the Eight of Swords. Okay, so you got some people, I don't know, don't, don't let nobody make you feel less, like pay less, don't let nobody make you feel, it's like some people are projecting on you, you got a group of people that's projecting on you, like I said, this would be enemies and frenemies, people that's jealous of you, envy of you, saying things about you that's not true, or it could be true or, you know, it's just people in your business talking shit, making fun of you, laughing at you, just being fucking ignorant, low vibration people. And they want you to give up. They want you to doubt yourself. They want you to make, they want you to feel like you're doing something wrong, that you don't know what you're doing, that you're crazy, that you, Okay. Or this could be you doing this to a Gemini. I don't know, but a group of people. This is you. Like, someone wants you to change your ideals. Someone wants you to, like, not follow your life purpose, your life path. Like, somebody don't want you to win and spin. Like, you got, yeah. Like, someone trying to make you think different about what you're doing. Someone's just, like, jealous, envy. Don't let them get to you now, Libra. Ace of Swords. Gemini Libra Aquarius. That's you guys, okay? This is you, Ace of Swords. Frustration, hell of victory, success. So this is you cutting out all losers, low lives out of your life. All right? That's draining you. You got people that's draining you. They could be doing binding spells on you, like I said. But this is you. You, you, you not taking no bullshit, you're not playing with anyone, this is you standing in your power, you fighting back, you speaking your truth, um, you telling your truth, you, you know, you just, you just don't have time for bullshit in your life, okay, Libra, like I said, it's Eight of Swords, this is you, so this is you, Ace of Swords, frustration, hello, victory. So this is what you got to do in order to win and spin and become successful. You have to cut losers out of your motherfucking life. You got to cut people out of your life that don't mean you know well or who whatsoever. So you got to let go all low vibration people that's 
that's energy vampires that's draining you making you feel insecure low self-esteem about yourself so this is what you got to do stand up for yourself stay strong on your throne and go after your goals you know whatever you want to succeed and achieve you know so this is you standing in your power, not giving up. You thought about it at first, but you like, fuck it. Okay. All right, Libras. Hmm. It could be some people that saying you got some type of sickness or illness, Libra. Somebody could be saying that you lay down for money, you have sex for money, you trick off for money, that you have some type of mental illness, you have some type of STDs. Like someone could be spreading your business, gossiping about you, saying this about you. You know, you you got some people that's trying to cause you delays and setbacks and blockages. Leo, I mean, uh, Libras. You could be dealing with a fire sign that's watching you too. This could be a thought to figure case with a coworker, undercover car, prior protector, uh, a masculine female, or a masculine male. This could be someone, I don't know, that you have a child by, a family by, or ex or family member, friend, friend of me, enemy, a lover, who whatsoever. But you got someone's watching you. Yeah, you got, like I said, a pass on loved one could be. Hmm. Yeah, it's some people could be like saying things about you, stressing you out, making you depressed, making you high. I don't know, something about some. Okay, let's move on, okay? What's the six of wands for the Libras? What's the six of wands, Spirit, for the Libras? What's the six of wands? I smell some fruit candy, like mm, something fruity. I don't know if you're eating fruit or something. I smell something fruity, like, hmm. <laughs> What's the six of wands for the Libra? Six of wands, spirit. What's the six of wands? Five of wands. Oh, uh, yeah. Fights and arguments, competition, jealousy, envy of you. Libra, this could be a fire sign, group of people, family members, friend of me, enemy people that you work with, they're in your area, your family. Like someone don't want you to win and spend. Someone don't want to see you succeed, achieve, become successful. Someone don't want you to follow your dreams, your life purpose, your life path. Like these are a bunch of idiots, fools, a bunch of childish ass grown people acting like kids, acting like childish, like, you know. Yeah, someone competing with you, competition, like someone. Mm, wow. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a group of people that's hating on you. They don't, like I said, they jealous of you. They trying to get you fired. They trying to stop you, block you. They trying to stop you from moving on, moving forward. They trying to come in between your career, your dreams, your goals. So this is crazy. This, like I said, this could be your family, frenemies, enemies, people you work with, around, or who whatsoever. Hmm, confirmation. What's the judgment for the Libras? What's the judgment about, Spirit? What's the judgment? What's the judgment? What's the judgment about, Spirit? What's the judgment? What's the judgment? Right on my back. King of Swords. So, this can be you defending yourself towards these people, standing up for yourself, fighting back. Telling these people to put some fucking respect on your name. This ain't no game. All right, Libra, King of Swords, give me a Gemini Libra query. So this is you. This is you, Libra. You the King of Swords. You telling these people to fuck off, to respect you. You defending yourself. You got your guards up, you know. You putting these people in their place. You checking their asses. Yeah, this is you letting these motherfuckers know who the fuck you are, who you about, what you about. Yeah. Yeah, you defending yourself. Uh, this could be some legal situation, a 
court system, justice, or a group of people that's hating on you, family members, frenemies, enemies, people like, yeah, you letting these motherfuckers know to put some respect in your name. You telling these people you don't have to like me, but you're going to respect me. Okay? And that's for real, for real. We keep it real here. You know? You don't have to fucking like me, but you're going to respect me. Okay? Yeah, Libra. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could be telling these people a piece of your fucking mind. Let these bitches know. These people think you a punk bitch or a punk, a punk cow or hoe, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but you let these motherfuckers know, put some respect in your name. I don't give a fuck. It's don't cross your line. You know, you let these motherfuckers know. I know what you're doing. You're lying, gossiping, spreading lines, your rumors, jealousy. You let these motherfuckers know. Fuck off. Fuck off, trick off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what am I questioning it? Holy Ghost. Yeah, you could be telling the judge. You could be going to court. Like I said, these could be people against you in the court situation or family or something. Something about, like, yeah, this would be some type of domestic violence or some shit. Going on. Yeah, you be you demanding respect, you then these people know they respect you. Okay. Yeah, this is you defending yourself in a court to sit court a case or something. Or yeah. Yeah, it could be some people lying on you, saying this saying all types of shit about you, Libra. Okay, let's move on. Lord. What's the eight of swords for the Libras? What's the eight of swords, spirit? What's the eight of swords for the Libras? What's the eight of swords? What's the eight of swords for the Libras? What's the eight of swords? Eight of Swords, Spirit. What's the Eight of Swords? We have the Seven of Cups. You got a Scorpio. Secret of Maya, Friend of Me, Enemy. Family. I don't know. Someone could be delusional, drunk, high, watching you. Someone could be looking at you. I don't know. They, they can be doing spell work on you, binding spells on you. I don't know, to keep you stuck and trapped, to keep you in your head. Someone could be fucking with your mind, your head. Like, fucking with your intuition, your third eye, your crown. Like, someone's trying to feel you, scare you. Someone's trying to make you think you're crazy. You you seeing things, you hearing things. Okay, Libra? I hate to give it to you like this, but I have to. Yeah, the two of swords. This could be you as well. This is you, I don't know, you scared, you could be scared of something, nervous, you feel like you need to protect yourself, protect yourself, you feel like you need to guard yourself, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Pisces, group of people, lies, gossiping, rumors, and shit like that. Yeah. You feel like you need to get an order protection, a train, uh, restraining order against someone. You could have a secret admirer. I don't know, a friend of me, an enemy, or a Looney Tune that's watching you. Or this could be you. Somebody's watching a. Someone could be watching a Gemini, or this could be you with the Ace Swords, and you could like Gemini. You could be this Ace Swords. But yeah, someone's watching you. Someone's trying to see if you confused. Are you hurt? Is it working? Is the black magic juju, hoodoo, voodoo is working on you? Or this is you watching someone's trying to see is it working on them? I don't know if you could be watching a Gemini, or you could be this Eight of Swords, or who whatsoever. 
But yeah, but someone's trying to see, is it working? Are you confused? Are you stuck? Are you trapped? Are you having a nervous breakdown? Are you losing your fucking mind? What's the Eight of Swords? The Ace of Swords. What's the Ace of Swords for Libras? What's the Ace of Swords, Spirit? Ace of Swords. What's the Ace of Swords? Ace of Swords. Three of Pentacles. So this could be about your work, your workplace where you work at, your job. Okay, maybe you working with some people, y'all collaborate, gave, you know, collaborate, you know, working together. Yeah, this could be about your work. I don't know if this friend means enemies hating on you about your work. Some people could be talking about your work, what you do for, I don't know, just three of pentacles. This could be about your work, who you work with, people you work with. You maybe got some haters that's, that's hating on you. Maybe your work is paying off. Maybe whatever you do for a living and whatever you do is 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 working. <laughs> okay. Improving. This could be something about a home, a house. Maybe you're coming into a home and a house. Maybe you're buying a home and a house, moving into a new property. Maybe something needs to be fixed up. Maybe it's going to be some delays. Some, yeah, delays in whatever you're trying to do. Something's going to be kind of slow. Yeah, some kind of delays. Like in a business, it's going to be your business. Maybe you got a business going on. It's going to be, the business is going to be kind of slow a little bit. Delays, but it's going to speed back up, Okay. You got some people that's hating on your success, your business as well. All right. It's, you know. So whatever you're trying to achieve, it's going to be some delays in it. Like I said, this could be a property, a business, a house, real estate, or something like that. Uh, fixing your home needs. Something needs to be fixed. Something's going to, I don't know, your work, your business. I don't know if it's slowing down or um, you got some haters. That's trying to stop you succeeding, achieving your goals. Okay, let's move on, please. Let's do something about money. Maybe your money is slowing down. Uh, Maybe it's going to be some delays in your money, your business, or these people that you're working with. Okay, let's see. Hmm. What's the three of pentacles? That's what the Libras. Three of pentacles. What's the three of pentacles? Three of pentacles. What's the three of pentacles? Yeah, you, you got some people that's trying to bully you. Yeah, you got some people at your job that's Talking shit, gossiping about your work, like trying to bully you, scare you. Um, let me see. Give me more on the Three of Pentacles to the Libras. What's the Three of Pentacles? Yeah. Yeah, this is you calling that how you see it. You like you calling somebody on a bullshit. Libra. Yeah, you could be calling some people out on their bullshit. You could be letting these people know, I know what you're up to. I know what y'all are doing. I know you're working against me. What's the three of pentacles for the Libras? What's the three of pentacles for the Libras? What's the three of pentacles for the Libras? Because it got something to do with a home, a house, a property, something being fixed. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe some people trying to get you put out, get you evicted. Okay. What's the five of ones for the Libras? Give me more on the five of ones, spirit. Four cups. So these people want you to be disappointed, sad, and mad 
or this could be a four of cups of cancer. Someone, I don't know, someone's mad because something didn't go in their favor, something didn't go right, something didn't turn out right. Or these people want you to feel disappointed, mad, and upset. Yeah, what's the five of wands? It's the four of cups. These people want you to feel disappointed, sad, and mad, miserable, stressed out, left out, Libra. Or it's a cancer that's feeling this way because they didn't, shit didn't go, didn't go their way, you know. This person was trying to turn people against you, get you fired, uh, get you jumped on, like competing with you. But you end up winning anyway. It's like, or these people just want to see you mad and miserable, left out like them. What's the four of cups for the Libras? What's the four of cups? Yeah, someone was trying to take credit from you. Like someone was trying to take your work, your job, your place, your position or something. What's the four of cups for the Libras? <clears throat> This could be over a man, over a woman. Someone was trying to fight you over a woman, over a man. That's over their boyfriend or girlfriend. This could be a family member or something like that. Yeah, someone can see that you're moving on. You're moving forward. So this could be an ex of yours that's mad at you because you rejected them. You don't want them anymore. You turned them down or something like that. <laughs> What's the King of Swords for the Libra spirit? What's the King of Swords? What's the King of Swords? We got lovers. I don't know what's up with this Gemini and Five of Pentacles. So something about a Gemini. You got something against a Gemini. I don't know. You trying to restrict a Gemini? Stop a Gemini? I don't know what the fuck this is about. A Gemini, the lovers. We got hate for a Gemini. You want to restrict, stop a Gemini. I don't know. Five of Pentacles. Like, leave somebody in the cold. Somebody wants someone to feel hopeless, worthless, shitless, useless. Someone wants someone to feel left out in the cold, sad, lonely, depressed, stressed out. The lovers. I don't know if you got something against a Gemini. You trying to stop a Gemini. You restricting a Gemini. You don't like a Gemini. You're trying to come in between a Gemini's relationship, Libra. I like something about lovers, Gemini. That's the lovers. Gemini's the lovers. You don't, you don't agree on someone's relationship. Are you racist? Are you prejudiced, Libra? Like, you're trying to come in between someone, spouse, relationship, family. It's like you, I don't know, you being cold-hearted towards a Gemini, like like mean towards a Gemini, talking shit, very, look how the tables just turn. Something about a lover, I don't know if you're in love with a Gemini or you got something against a Gemini, love with twin soulmate, twin flame. <clears throat> A family member, this could be a family member, a relative that you you don't have good intentions to or a tour or for. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Maybe you're in love with a Gemini or you mad, you angry at a Gemini, a lovers. Or this could be a family member, someone you you don't like. You don't like a Gemini. Something about a Gemini you don't like. You restrict this person. You just, you you don't have good intentions for this person. You want this person to feel left out. You want this person to go through poverty. You want this person to, what? But anyway, this is dumb. This is weird. Like, you trying to restrict this Gemini. Like, you trying to stop this Gemini. I don't know, you're trying to come in between this Gemini's relationship, 
you don't agree on this Gemini's relationship, partner or spouse, you're racist or you're prejudiced, you don't like this Gemini's lover or partner or spouse or some shit. What's the Seven of Cups for the Libras? Give me more for the Libras, the Seven of Cups. What's the Seven of Cups? Because I see Gemini up here, or you can be, <clears throat> excuse me, the Dev card. So someone wants new beginnings with you, Libra, or someone wants to put an end to you, or into a situation or relationship. This could be a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio that's scoping you out. This could be someone that had a third party on you, neglected you, abandoned you, ghosted you for a third party, had kids, and had got married, and now they're coming back. Maybe they want to amend things with you. Maybe they want to reunite with you. Want maybe I don't know. Or maybe someone just want to come back and hold you back, keep you stuck and trapped. Don't want you to move on. Don't want you to move forward with anyone. Or this could be someone coming back because they want you back. Uh, they want new beginnings with you. They want to start all over with you. They want another chance with you. Or this could be you moving on. Does this someone see that you're moving on to your new beginnings, to bigger and better things? Or who whatsoever, Libra? Or this is someone's coming in to end something for you. I don't know. Give me more on the Three of Pentacles for the Libras. What's the Three of Pentacles, Spirit, for the Libras? The Three of Pentacles. Clarify okay, the Three of Pentacles. We got Wheel of Fortune. Okay, that came right back out. So this could be something about your past, relationships. I don't know. This could be something about your credit score, your credit report. I don't know. Something about schooling. Maybe you're going back to school. Maybe you want to go back to school or something like that. Maybe you want to finish something that you left off. Maybe you need to go back to school, take up some type of uh, training, career, project, or something. Okay, this speaks about your past. Something bring something's being brought up. I don't know. Maybe you had going to a job interview. Maybe these people ask you about GD or high school diploma or something like that. Maybe you could be going back to school to get your high school diploma, your GD or something. Maybe you want to go back to school to take up some type of law. I don't know. Some type of project skill training. There's something that you, yeah. This could be something being brought up. Your past. Relationships, past people. Your education. Um, will of fortune. Like you, Something's going in your favor, okay? It's like your success, your dreams, your goals. Maybe you want to follow your life purpose. Or something like that, Libra. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. So this could be about your business as well. Your universe on your side, the Wheel of Fortune, trips, money trips overseas, the world in the palm of your hand. Like I said, this could be shit from your past, or you could be going back to your past. I don't know. But, yeah. This speaks about victory and success, following your dreams and goals, traveling. Okay. Finish what you left off of, you know, unfinished business. Something, maybe you need to go back and do something. Maybe you need to go back and repeat something. Maybe you need to go back to school for something, okay? Order to get this job, order uh, something that you need. And this be college, your scholarship or something like that, okay? Yeah, this could be job interviews, you know. Mm. Maybe you taking up law school, lawyer, judge, I don't know, something. Okay, Libra, let me get off. I've been on your reading too long, honey. Hmm. 
Yep, Wheel of Fortune, Trips of Sea. Give me more on the Wheel of Fortune for the Libra spirit. What's the Wheel of Fortune for the Libras? The Wheel of Fortune. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Ace Wands, yeah. This is, like I said, new beginnings, success, your dreams and goals, follow your dreams and goals, your life purpose, your life path. Very gifted and talented, Libra. Whatever you do, whatever you got going on, okay, your business or whatever, new opportunity, prosperities, okay, being very creative, being very motivating and inspiring to people, okay, this is, like I said, this is you. Yeah, this is you putting in the work, making things happen. Okay. This is you believing in yourself, or you need to believe in yourself, having more faith in yourself, feeling more confident in your work, whatever you do. Okay. Staying more positive, being positive. Fulfilling your dreams, accomplishing, you know, your dreams and your goals. Okay, Libra. Hmm. What's the Five of Pentacles for the Libras? What's the Five of Pentacles about? I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo or Taurus, Capricorn Virgo Taurus or something like that, Libra. Let me see something. Yeah, this could be a, a child. I don't know. Maybe you disagree with me with someone's child. I, like I said, I don't know if you're racist or you're prejudiced, but maybe you got something against someone's child. Maybe someone's child could be a different race or I don't know, something like that. Mm -mm, the devil is a lie. You don't. Mm -mm. What's the lovers for the Libras? Mm -mm, the sun. Okay. I, I, okay. I don't know if you don't want to see a Gemini happy or you, you want happiness with a Gemini. The lovers and the sun. I don't know, maybe you see, you don't want this Gemini to be seen in a bright light. You don't want to see this Gemini happy or something. The lovers and the sun. So you want happiness, you want peace and joy with, the, with a Gemini. I don't know, right? Something. <laughs> Yeah, you, you have good memories about this Gemini. You share good times with this Gemini. Uh, something like that, Libra. The sun, the lovers, and the sun. I don't know if you're in love with a Gemini or, or something about... You can have a baby. You could be pregnant, unexpected pregnancy. Or you can go both, go both ways, Libra. Are you bisexual? You don't want to, it's, it's either you don't want to see this Gemini happy. Okay. Something about, anyway. What's the death card for the Libras? What's the death card about? What's the death card? Temperance. Someone's protected. Libra, you are protected, okay? Or this person that's coming towards you needs to heal. This person needs to do some type of spiritual cleansing, healing, detox. This person could have a drinking problem, drug problem as well. Or this could be you, Libra. You're protected from this person. Your angels, your ancestors around you are testing you. God testing you. They to see if you're going to go back to this person. You're being tested. Okay? Your ancestors, your spirit guides. I testing you, okay? You being tested, okay, Libra. This is somebody's coming back from your past. They have betrayed you, backstabbed you, deceived you, left you for a third party, cheated on you, lie, 
So you being tested, your angels, your guardian angels, spirit guide, God is testing you out. See, you're going to go back to this person that hurt you, betray you, deceive you. Okay, because this person is no good. This person is up to no good. So you being tested. Are you going to win or are you going to lose? Are you going to take this person back? Are you going to fail, like, fall weak for this person again? Okay. Yeah, you share, you used to have good times with this Gemini. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. You remember the good times you used to share with this Gemini? This could be a family member, relative, friend, or who whatsoever. You and this person don't talk anymore or whatsoever. And you remember the good times y'all used to have. Okay, y'all used to laugh, have fun. This person used to make you laugh a lot. Okay. You could be pregnant with twins. Okay, Libra. One more, and, and I'm done, honey. What's the four cups for the Libras? What's the four cups, spirit? Eight of wands. Okay, so someone's sending you messages, telepathic messages, love bombing you. Someone's coming in real, real quick. Love. Maybe you've been waiting on love. Maybe you've been waiting on someone to love you. Maybe you've been waiting on a relationship. Maybe you've been wondering, like, damn, if I'm ever going to get in a relationship, if I'm ever going to love again, is someone ever going to love me again, if I'm ever going to fall in love again? Maybe you've been waiting on someone from your past to come in or, I don't know, someone new coming in. Soulmate Twin Flame. But someone's coming in real fast, rushing in real fast. It could be a new person, or this could be an ex of yours, someone that, I don't know. Or someone's trying to block you from moving on or for having new love. Maybe someone's trying to block you and this person from coming together, reuniting, rekindling together. Okay, Libra. Yeah. Yeah, maybe this person thought that they was going to have another chance with you, that you, you two was going to get back together. Maybe they took too long by coming or saying anything or talking. Maybe this person didn't know your worth, didn't want to know your worth. Okay, or something like that, Libra. This is y'all reading, okay, honey? Your sun, moon, rising, Venus, no, no. <clears throat> and Jupiter reading, Libras, all right? Smooches. <laughs>